Welcome to a new Neville update. This week, we dive into the most interesting playoff matchups filled with superstars and expectations. First round favorite, defending champ statement, coaching contenders, postseason fashion, unexpected upsets, anything could happen in a best of seven series. So let's get right into it. Time to put the regular season behind us. The records, personal stats, the storylines, and what ifs that kept us entertained since the all-star break, all of that means nothing now. This is where rising talents make their name and contenders prove they can dominate the game. Who's really up to the challenge? Stars shine the brightest on the biggest stages and the competitive hunger of elite teams intensify when it matters most. The legitimate pursuit of a championship can elevate certain teams to new heights that they've only imagined. With superstar injuries and compelling matchups in every series, this postseason looks like it'll be one of the most exciting yet. The mission is clear. The path has been mapped out. The real question is, who will make the most of their opportunity? Time for us to find out. Lance Stevenson is a walking circus who plays his best against LeBron, giving himself concussions and smacking the king around, literally. But Victor Oladipo, the most improved player of the year by far, was the best player on the floor for the entire game. The NBA steals leader just stole a huge playoff road win against the best player on the planet, who hadn't lost a first round game since 2012. Indiana has officially made the series interesting. How would you feel if a grown man was randomly blowing in your ear every time you saw him, then pretends he wants to fight? Like, come on, Lance, stop flirting. Face the facts, LeBron is married. Enough is enough already. We see how you're always smiling and trying to impress him. Good game though. Don't be fooled by all the hype. The Warriors love the fact that people are doubting them. Even Steve Kerr, who let it be known that once you've won a few times, it's not like you forget how. Thanks guys. Hey Scotty, show T-Mac your rings, all right? (laughs) (laughs) Crash talk. That's messed up, Steve. The Warriors play like they want to sweep the Spurs and get extra rest. I mean, since they're so binged up and broken like everyone says, maybe it's time to flip the switch, with or without Steph. Golden State went at the Spurs like the basketball world needed reminding that they're the defending champs, in case anyone has forgotten. Oh, and Kawhi isn't coming to save the Spurs, so it looks like they're in trouble. Even Popovich knows it. Did you watch the game? Yes. (laughs) What do you think? Didn't. It didn't work very well. So we'll we'll have Danny grow four or five inches by Monday night, uh, tell him to jump higher and move quicker. And we'll tell Kevin, don't be so good. Well, isn't he so charming? The T-Wolves are making their first playoff appearance in almost 15 years. This is brand new territory for that talented core. And Coach Tibbs is certainly happy. Oops, wrong clip. No matter what happens though, they should feel happy. On the other side of the ball, time for Houston to lock into that fast-paced, fun-flowing style that shot the lights out all season. Bledsoe might have nightmares after Terry Rozier got him scratching his head. And it's good, and Boston has the lead. Someone doesn't want to be here. Just when the home fans thought it was over, Middleton ties it from Curry range to force OT. Tatum has the speed and length to get to the bucket whenever he wants. He's looking like Kyrie with silky smooth finishes high off the glass. Locked down D with the game on the line, Tatum definitely isn't a rookie anymore. 19 points and 10 boards in his playoff debut. Since we're filming this before the finish of the Thunder and Jazz matchup, I won't be able to provide my superb analysis, but this is definitely a series to watch. Westbrook versus Donovan Mitchell, or Russ versus Ricky Rubio. Dynamic guards with no fear, explosive moves, relentless desire to get to the bucket at any given moment. Not to mention Donovan insisting on playing even after he injured his pinky toe. He's something special. Yay, the Raptors finally won a first round game to start the playoffs. Let's see if it means anything. Maybe John Wall needs to stay off Instagram, or maybe the Wizards somehow forgot how to play together all of a sudden. Well, 
This didn't take long. The Knicks coaching chaos continues. Time to set up meetings and find someone new to blame for not making the playoffs next year. I'm not so sure Coach World Peace is the magic fix for New York. Might be an awkward interview after they ask. So, have you jumped into any NBA crowds lately? But hey, shoot your shot. You never know. Let's not forget, it's the Knicks, so just be careful what you wish for. With all the creative and bold fashion choices we see on a nightly basis, I think we've gotten spoiled having Commissioner Adam Silver in charge. Because in the good old David Stern days, Nick Young would have probably been hit with one of those that'll be 25K for inappropriate bedroom attire in the workplace type fines. When asked about his dress code violation in the post-game interview, Swaggy P would just smile and say, that's how much I paid for this outfit. I guess that makes sense. Shout out to everybody sleeping on me. Time to wake up. Honorable mention, we all know Westbrook is always looking fly, but now he's got the chest out. Look at that big smile, even this lady couldn't resist. LeBron went zero dark 30. Even though we all know he didn't want to, low key. We all love social media, especially the King. But the Cavs lost game one. But who wants to bet he drops 40 with a triple double next game? Anthony Davis continues to put the Pelicans on his back without Boogie. So if Rondo keeps dropping dimes like it's 08, Portland's backcourt needs to take over if the Blazers want to taste the second round. AD is the best player on the court. So New Orleans is looking like the favorite in this matchup. Ben Simmons really likes putting up triple double type numbers and has Philly off to a great postseason start. But expect Miami's veteran balance to make this series exciting if games are close. Did you see him beat in that Phantom of the Opera mask? Can someone get this guy in a movie, please? What do you consider a successful season for your team? I know some people are just happy to make the playoffs, but for the greats, it's championship or bust. Hall of Fame careers are getting immortalized as we speak, while great players study, train, and prepare for their chance to call themselves the world champion. That's all I've got for this week's Neville Update. Be on the lookout for more NBA playoff coverage in another new basketball recap next week. Shout out to my co-producer Winston T. Marshall for all of his help, and a special thanks to the MyVids team for letting me use this space to create magic. Thanks for watching.